I don't know. I think it's going to be a good movie. <laughs> Is that how we're opening? Yep. I can see the box office budget, and it's just a big red downwards arrow. Oh, my God. The profits are just not, no. I Welcome back to the round table. I'm Austrick Vox. I'm Retro Nemo. My name is Tom. And we just watched the first trailer for the Teen Titans Go movie. Teen Titans Go to the Movies. What a clever name. Uh, a little Hillary Clinton inspiration there. <laughs> yeah, Teen Titans Go to the Poles. Teen Titans goes, goes. This could be a franchise. To film school. Teen Titans Go to Space. I mean, <laughs> how could they not with such a, I mean, just look at that start. Yeah, it's the, such a, a, a lucrative such an franchise. Art, so much artistic integrity, oh, so much craftsmanship and wit. Our grandkids, our grandkids are gonna be like, "What's Star Wars? We want to go see Teen Titans Go Awakens." <laughs> the, they're making a new Teen Titans Go trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, man. but um. This was bad. I don't think it was that bad. I, mean, I think for a trailer for for like its demographic, it got the job done. Yeah. Um, from a production standpoint, it looks like I think. Like a very cool looking episode of the show, but it's not like Teen Titans Go traditionally has like the highest production value in the first place. It's probably a really cheap movie. Yeah. Um, also, keep in mind, like this was a teaser trailer. Like I doubt that Wonder Woman sequence is gonna be in the final film at all. Oh, no, no. Way. Yeah. It would probably be better if it was though. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was. I thought it was funny because yeah, it, was just, it like, started out funny enough, and I got that the whole point is like superhero movies are so huge now. No one's made fun of them yet, really. Maybe this is Teen Titans Go spot. What about Rick and Morty? No, but I mean, I mean like on a theater scale. Yeah, like, like a, a theatrical parody of super. I mean, there's a yeah. superhero movie, but yeah. like. Plus my SAT I, I, I think I what think Jay means like like a what, film what about with actual ass? superheroes. Yeah. It's like self-aware. Yeah. Plus my SAT score was not high enough to see Rick and Morty, so I don't even know the reference you're getting. So. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the Marvel movies now. I'm like, I'm gonna watch this in 20 years, and it's gonna be the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, that's how I am on second rewatch, sometimes even the first rewatch. Yeah. That's how I felt watching 4. I was like, I'm gonna watch, like, on the scene with the bridge, I'm like, I'm gonna watch this in a few years, and it's just <laughs> gonna be the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, my kids are gonna be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> my lord. It's like, just the bubble's gonna burst, and Marvel's gonna tank. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's true. They were bankrupt, though, before all these movies took off. They just sell their rights off. Mm. Crazy comeback story. Yeah. Just like Robert Downey Jr., their their fates are interlinked. Right, and Teen Titans goes the opposite, where it had a legacy. And <laughs> it was just tarnished. No, the show the show's not that bad. It's not that bad. I, it's what it's, it's what it is. This I movie, mean, though, I have a question. Do you guys think this film's coming out too late? Like, with all, like you know, Teen Titans go. Obviously, it's a mostly popular show, but the ratings have been declining throughout the last few years. So, do you think this movie is going to be uh, the the, bo the box office success they at least think it's going to be? Because I'm pretty sure by making this film, they think it's going to make, like, a pretty penny. Uh, you know what I think, honestly? What? I think they're like, sh okay, we got to get this movie done as ASAP before they're off the grid completely. Like, this is their last-ditch effort to make money off of Teen Titans Go. They're making the movie now. I mean, the film has a entirely separate team from TV show, so... Does it? Yeah. Like, animation or writing? Like, in the entire thing, I'm pretty sure, has an oh. entirely different team. Damn. Because they're making season five, too. Yeah, but regular show did both. That's a, that's a, there's a lot of difference between a TV film and a theatrical film. Yeah, that's true. SpongeBob did both. Yeah, and it was meant to be the fucking end of the series. Yeah, it should have been. Anyways, tell maybe, me what you think. maybe this should be the end of the series. What if it is? It's not. Oh. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure season five's like maybe if uh, all but confirmed. Maybe if Cartoon Network showed something other than Teen Titans Go, people wouldn't be as overexposed to it, and they might like, actually. Yeah. Um, and me looking at this right now, the trailer on Cartoon Network has. Uh, a thousand likes and uh, almost a thousand dislikes. I bet if our first page right now, it'll be set nine hundred seventy nine thousand. So I mean, a thousand is nine hundred seventy nine thousand is a lot. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's other like reuploads of this trailer. There was uh, a teaser for the teaser. Yeah, there, there's always a teaser. Yeah, the Rona Bros upload has pretty much the same amount. Um, yeah. Almost a thousand dislikes, a thousand likes. Uh, one media upload has. 55 likes and 46 dislikes, so... Hey! Getting in that uh, positive reviews already. Uh, Poke Universe's mirror of the trailer has 138 likes and 103 dislikes. So, yeah, people aren't, like, you know, taking this trailer well. 
Well, I think this is our uh, one chance to see a movie before it comes out. <laughs> like, that the critics get to do. Like, this is our only... Oh, yeah, you, they're going to reach out, like, roundtable, please. Yeah, like, hey. <laughs> only your channel. <laughs> not, 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 not Velsky Mario 64. Mm. Not, 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 not Rebel, be not Rebel Chair. It has to, has to be you, the roundtable. <laughs> we're going to be like, no. <laughs> yeah, well, if they fill us out, maybe. Warner Brothers, listen up. I don't know. I, I, I won't see it. Uh, we gotta see it. We gotta review it. Okay. This, this is your job now. I guess I'll see it. No, but uh... This is your life purpose. Oh no. <laughs> no, but like, literally, like, like looking at the... It does look like an upgrade from the TV show. It looks the same to me. It looks like an uh, episode of Gumball. It, it looks... Yeah. It, look, Gumball's like it looks a, a lot more episode, fluid. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about like the background, like like the sky being like, like photorealistic, like a little yeah. sky. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know if that's temporary or like... The, oh, okay, it the, looks better, but it doesn't. Animation, like the character animation looks pretty similar, but like when you cut to the city backdrop, like then it looks like a movie, kind of. Yeah. But and maybe. like the, I feel like there's uh, an attempt at like dynamic storyboarding with like how Beast Boy yeah, as Porcupine, like when she's the, the spines. Uh, like this is clearly like some kind of like opening battle that they're gonna have, which is makes it even sadder. I mean, I, just to open with a, a fart joke. It's a. It's just a fart joke. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the fart joke aspect of like the Why joke. Why did it last like an hour? Yeah, <laughs> it went on for too long. It was half. But a but this is what I'm saying. Like I feel like th this is to get like the kids in. Like this oh, like yeah. this is to try to get the kiddies in. Like kids are like ah, but like I don't think the film's gonna be just fart jokes. I mean, it, they, it totally could be, and it's justified because it's it's a cartoon. It film. wouldn't be justified because Teen Titans Go so much episode was how like they try writing like an episode of like the current like like they try to write the creators and are like oh yeah let's put in fart jokes that's what they do for us. So, they, I feel like they can't get that self aware and then have the film just be like the exact same thing they parody. Think, I don't think they care, man. Yeah, that's what the trailer is. I don't. It's very. But like clear. I said, this is for an advertising standpoint. Yeah. Like It's pretty clear this this movie's not meant know. for us, you guys. It's not meant for us. I mean, aren't, aren't kids gonna already know what Teen Titans Go is? Yeah. So, who is this trailer for? Teen the kids. But, like, they don't need to I mean, bring like, the kids in. But but if you're a kid in theaters and you haven't watched Teen Go in a while, that might hook you in. I don't know. I mean, it's every movie needs a trailer. I feel like if I'm a kid and I haven't watched Teen Titans Go in a while and there's just an hour-long fart <laughs> joke, I'm just going to be like, oh, jeez. Glad I got off that train wreck before. I'm not going to... I don't know. When I was a kid, I thought fart jokes were funny, so... Right. I'm not going to pretend like this is, like, I was a highbrow comedy. I know. <laughs> oh, I just got watching The British Office. <laughs> <laughs> the British one, though. Go on, make me take a spit take. <laughs> oh, man. I just got done watching South Park. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Wait, what? <laughs> that was me when I was a kid. No, it was more like, your mom let you watch South Park? And he's like, yeah, oh, oh my God. That's the thing my mom doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, exactly. whoa, I wish I had a computer in my room. Hey, guys, I have a TV in my room, but it doesn't have cable. <laughs> but it's like the local channels. Fox comes on. Simpsons every weekday at 5. No, it's not Simpsons Family Guy. <laughs> that was like the thing. Cause everyone could watch The Simpsons. Dude, I don't no, remember. Really? I, I couldn't. It's not that bad. Dude, my family would just watch The Simpsons together. Yeah, yeah well, I wish I had that family. <laughs> Since I was like a little kid. Aww, hey guys, I was up past nine last night. Family Gone Adult Swim. That's some that's some that's some good crap right there. I think it's ever too late for a TV movie because The Simpsons did their TV movie what like 2011. There was yeah, but here's the thing: The Simpsons is like iconic. Like that's like that's like a household name. Two right. times go, it's popular, but it's not The Simpsons level. Not yet. <laughs> not ever. 100 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and you could the Rick and Morty movie. movie. <laughs> but that's what I said. I feel like this. I feel like this is a potential to be a good film. Yeah. Oh uh, no. You know what this trailer no. is? It's like if Rick and Morty did get a movie, and then like the whole trailer was just I'm Pickle Rick. <laughs> you know yeah, what? This, like, this... Think how many like films had bad first trailers. Yeah, trailers always make the movie look bad. Like, like when I first saw Get Out, I was like, this is gonna be some corny like like. like I was mad when like, I'm like, like, like white people are the villain. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah right. I, I thought it was gonna be some like preachy like white people are evil film. Yeah. And I watched it after watching it, I'm like, yeah, white people are evil. Fuck yeah, that was yeah, awesome. I was like, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so I feel like this is, this is just be a case of a bad trailer. I think the, I think the trailer is gonna sum up what this movie's like. There's gonna be scenes that are like self-aware and funny, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be into it. And then there's gonna be a fart joke that just takes me well, out. Well, let's look at the synopsis of the film because I feel like that's oh, a it's out? discussion. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Yeah, it seems levels. to the teens that all the major superheroes are out there starring in their own movies. Everyone but the Teen Titans. But the facto leader Robin is determined to remedy the situation and be seen as a star instead of a sidekick. If only they get the hottest Hollywood film director to know this limb. With a few madcap ideas and a song in their heart, the Teen Titans head to Tinseltown, certain to pull off the dream. But when the group is radically misdirected by a serious supervillain and his maniacal plan to go to the Earth, things go alright! The team finds their friendship and their fighting spirit failing. 
putting the very fate of the Teen Titans themselves on the line. Okay. So, so yeah, you know, it's about like them trying to find a director for, so their, for their superhero pink diamonds. film. That could be funny. This yeah. Could be, this could have potential. So they're pink diamonds? I don't get it. <laughs> Everyone else has a superhero movie. <laughs> I want my own movie. Yeah, that's a very good point. <laughs> when are we getting the Steven Universe movie? Never. What, what do you mean the universe movie? Steven Universe. Oh, this is this is the universe. Probably never. Neil deGrasse Tyson Drake. You think there's gonna be a Steven Universe film in theaters? I, I can see it being a TV movie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely like a finale TV movie. I like what Avatar did, where like the finale was four episodes, but it's meant to be a movie, so you could like watch it as both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was Smart. Anyways, back to something that's not good. Um, yeah. No, but I mean, um, we can talk about the Avatar movie. I wonder if they're gonna mention like like the DCEU and like Justice League in this. I, I that seems like the, what they're setting up, but still. Yeah. There's like even if Aquaman can get a movie. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's fine. It's like they could totally tear down super movies, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be like too cringy. And other I think at the end of the day, this film's gonna be dated because they're basing it off like a, a trend right now. Yeah, definitely. Like the SpongeBob movie, that that wasn't like oh we're gonna make fun of how fucking Rugrats and the Wild. Thornberry's got a movie. Okay, but counterpoint, people still watch Spaceballs and like Scary Movie 1. But here's the thing, like, those are based off of Scream, which is an iconic series, and Star Wars, which is like an iconic uh, f film franchise, which are like original ideas, and like, yeah, you can argue like Marvel, like like those are original adaptations, but contrary to like, what, what Teen Titans goes, is going after how like there's all these cinematic universes and everything. Yeah, that's true. And it's also such a branded parody. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. I feel that. I think it's, it's. I can't believe they got a movie in theaters. When's the last time there was a TV movie? My Little Pony. <laughs> right. Who saw it? That was last year. It did pretty well. Oh, okay. It didn't. It didn't do like amazing. But like that's the deal. It's like these always come out like after the hype died. I mean, My Little Pony came out way after the hype died. Like, yeah. Destroy following, but it's not nowhere near the pinnacle. Like at least Teen Titans Go was still like in a time where at least the network is still crazy about it. Like remember when there was gonna be an Adventure Time film? Oh yeah, there was! And that ended, didn't it? It was just cancelled. Yeah. I wonder what the budget for this is, because I feel like it can't be nothing too crazy. I, I think it's like a million dollars. You never know. <laughs> I wonder what Captain Underpants' budget was. I feel, it, like, I, I feel like it's going to be in the ballpark range of Captain Underpants. Uh, budget, 38 million. Oh, wow. God damn. I wonder how much the Peanuts was. Peanuts was probably just as much, if not more. I didn't see the Peanuts movie, which I did. Sorry for yawning, I do like Peanuts. Uh, oh my god, a hundred million for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. How much did they make back? Uh, Twelve. Two, well, the box, the box office was 246 million. So, okay, it made like plus, double. But you gotta factor in like merchandise sales. Right, and, like, so it probably just like, barely made back its money. Yeah. A little, oh, that's sad. Dude, this is gonna flop. I mean... You really think it's gonna flop? I, there's a lot of little kids that'll be like, I wanna see the T-Tennis Go movie, take me to see it. But like, that's not enough of an audience to make a theatrical film. I don't know. I feel like there's a plot twist that like, like, like we're like not expecting. Like, I don't know, I, like somehow they're gonna bring in like the 2003 Titans and it'll be like... That, okay, <laughs> yeah, maybe then. <laughs> Yeah, it won't hit, like, the premiere date then. It'll just have a bunch of people like, what the fuck, I need to see this. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. People going after. But if that's the direction they take it, then all, you know. No, just imagine a trailer ending, like, like this film's equivalent of Zack Snyder being like, I have a different idea for you guys, and it's like, really the mad. 2003 Titans walk in. Oh, now I'm really mad they didn't do that, because that's, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, that needs to happen. Yeah, I, I feel like there'll be a way to gra grab in, like, the older audience. There will be, and I mean, they're gonna get, you know, for losers who work for a YouTube channel to see it. Yep. So you know, yep, we're gonna be there opening night. Uh, camping out. Just like with the emoji movie. Snapchat in hand. Look at that line. <laughs> what line? I wish. I wish. Look Tom, at that line. I wish Tom was there when we saw the emoji movie in theaters. Yeah, that was we, were a trip. The, we were the only ones in theaters. Because <laughs> no one else wanted to see the fucking emoji movie on a Thursday night. <laughs> that line was a mile long, minus a mile. <laughs> Mine is it was long. just one mile short of a mile long. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, so will it do numbers? It was just a line short of being a line. Kevin, when does this movie come out? Uh, the Teen Titans Go movie, or Teen Titans July. Goes to the Movies, comes Which out. Which is a great title. I'll give it props. July twenty seventh. Yeah, July twenty seventh. Okay, so it's so pretty movie. close to the Emoji movie release. Summer blockbusters. You know, when did the Emoji movie come out? Tomorrow. Uh, the Emoji movie came out July twenty third. So yeah, it's. It's gonna be a few days after the one year anniversary of the Emoji movie. How do you, you wait? Are you sure it didn't come out June 6, 2006? Uh, 666? No. <laughs> Did you know what did come out that day? What? The Omen remake. Oh. Oh. No. I'm, I, I, I probably I, 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 I remember because I, I sprained my arm that day and I was like, Dang, you sprained your arm on 666? Yeah. Dude. And I'm out the newspaper. She was like, Oh, like the Omen remake comes out today on 666. And I was dude. like, Dude! 
That's a lot to take in in one day. Did the devil come out of the sidewalk and like crack your arm and just go back down? <laughs> That's what I was scared was gonna happen. They literally made me scared of that movie. I'm like, it is real. And then your mom's like, okay, Kevin, I gotta go polish all the knives real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> like a bunch of bad stuff. <laughs> Who left this ladder up? Might as well walk under it. <laughs> I feel like this film has potential. No one else does, but I, I I'm want hopeful. you to prove me wrong. I want it to be good. It's looking, a movie. Looking at that screenshot you pull up on your computer, it, it, it's it's 90 minutes long. It's 90 minutes. Like you know, well it'll probably be 90 minutes long. No, it's 90 minutes a little bit too long. <laughs> you know, like people will talk about it. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It already has people talking. People are already making videos. Well, people in this community. Are people still gonna care about Teen Titans Go by then? Right. Will the show even be around by then? Oh, it'll still be around. That's, yeah. that's for sure. Like I said, like imagine a trailer like this in front of Infinity War. Probably be out of place, but it would still get kids excited. I, I think that's kind of cool that they're like tearing down. Like I, I do want to see this trailer next to Infinity War, and I, 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 th I think that's like hilarious, and I want that to happen. But I also think that like it's gonna not be the best. It's my takeaway. I see what they're doing. I mean, they they took a jab at Aquaman, so you know, you know they mean Everyone business. Takes, the Big Bang Theory took a jab at Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you really want to be down there with them? <laughs> No. Making all that money, but like none of the credit. No one's gonna take a jab at Aquaman to Jason Momoa's face, though. That's true. That's true. Oh, uh, Tangent, I saw Elon Musk on an episode of Big Bang Theory. Most awkward clip I've ever watched. Elon you mean, Musk. You next mean to like all of Big Bang Theory? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was horrible. Also, like, I wonder if Batman's gonna be in this film. Oh, yeah, he will be. He'll have a cameo. Like, He's had a cameo in the yeah, show. Yeah, I feel like the Justice League should be in there, but like I want them to be like the Zack Snyder renditions. Let's make predictions. What do you what do you think is gonna be in it? I think at least there's gonna be uh I think there's gonna be a two thousand three series cameo some just somewhere in the film. Somewhere that's a good prediction. I think there's gonna be a point where they have to like run through a bunch of other superhero movies. Hmm. Like Batman versus Superman, like just gonna run like through them all. There's gonna be Spider Man, but it's not gonna be Spider Man. <laughs> I think there's gonna be a, a fake out of someone dying. Yeah. Let's see. I think. I think Robin will die. I think there will be a shipping scene or lack thereof. I think there's gonna be them talking over the opening titles. It's gonna be like Warner Bros. and Beast Boys gonna be like, "Yo, dude, this is Warner Bros. Dude." <laughs> <laughs> like, I think oh, off to a bad start. I think there will be a lot of social media references. <laughs> I, yeah. I, feel, I feel like Robinson be on Twitter just like looking for a hot Hollywood hashtag director. <laughs> Hip with the kids. On Tinder. <laughs> on okay. Tinder. And it'll be like, that's your director? <laughs> and then start will be like, Robin, that's just the dictator, not the director. And then and then we'll have like a Hitler looking character arise. Like Kim Jong -un. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> How many North Korea references? How many references? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Um I think that let me try to Yeah, okay, two thousands. The cameo. I think I don't know. What else could be? What do you think, Tom? I have one, but I forgot it. Probably the director's cameoing. Being like, there's, there's gonna, there's gonna be an obnoxious amount of post-credit scenes. Yeah. Oh, that would, that would be good. <laughs> it's like they're gonna like break the fourth wall to the point where it's annoying. The whole movie's a no. post-credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. If that, if they no, like, I, I thought the, the credits are gonna start and this gonna cut to a post credit scene and this gonna continue the another post credit scene. Like, oh, you thought we were done yet? Yeah. yeah and yeah. the post credit scenes will just be them referencing that there's so many post credit scenes, <laughs> and then there'll be an actual like one single actual like not non minute post credit scene at the very end. But then it'll be interrupted by how cool the post credit scene was. I mean, the best one was Captain America, where he's like, sometimes waiting <laughs> doesn't pay off. I'm like that was just, oh, that was the best. Yeah, this film's gonna be something else. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, huh? Yeah, but what do you guys think of the Teen Titans Go to the Movies trailer? I know it's probably just supposed to be like negative perception, but drop your thoughts in the comments below or tune to us at Roundtable Vids on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and on Snapchat at RoundtableYT. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like, share it with your friends, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Hit that bell for notifications so you can stay in the loop with all things animation. I've been Ostrich Vox. I'm Retro Nemo. And my name is Tom. Signing out.